any per the more power a person has, the more funny it is when they fall off of a bicycle or slip on a banana peel or they go to drink uh, from like a cup but the lid's not on properly and then it all spills out over their shirt. To, to see a, a god humbled, it just brings a smile to my face. Yeah, or they're they're chasing after like a, a like a road runner, and then like um, they try to chase it into a tunnel, but they don't realize that the tunnel has actually been replaced with like a canvas that is painted really quickly to look like a tunnel, and then his face comes out and it's completely like it's like a two dimensional pancake, and then he goes boom, and then it all pops out. And he looks like himself again, and then he goes and crosses his arms and goes, and then goes, ding, and then he has an idea, and he's they, you get the rest of it. He straps himself to like a big red firework and shoots off into the sky or something like that, and then it says boom, and his hair turns into like Krusty the Clowns, but like it's just a little string coming up, and there's smoke coming out of the top of his head. You get the idea. Yes, I didn't want to say Red Rocket. You see that jump? Okay, I see. You're flexing. Honestly, I like your Tony Hawk 50-50 grind. Show some respect and walk on the midline. Why is he jumping? How's he catching up to me via jumping? What the hell? No! <laughs> No! By like a millimeter? There might be 30 people in front of me. I don't think there are. I'm okay. I, I couldn't handle this, honestly. worth <laughs> I don't even think he would have qualified but it felt amazing to to stop him to feel like I stopped him whatever oh I'm running psycho casino oh man that felt good even though I lost it felt good also I was it was either first or last, man. That's it. Like, I, the dude got to the platform just a second before me, and then the thing just came up enough to trip me. Chat spam minus two. They're not a hive mind. They're not uh, a monolith that you can just influence into saying whatever you want. Hey, chat. Uh, oh, hold on. My stomach hurts. Watch the lulls roll in. Let the lulls roll in. No, that's a lot of minus twos. Okay, you got me. I did the fart sound so, like, vigorously. I feel like I actually damaged, like, my mouth. The only, and the only other thing that I'm disappointed about with the colonoscopy, apparently when you come out of general unconscious sedation, they make you fart before you can leave. Which sounds so funny. Because I was conscious the whole time, they were just like, how do you feel? And I was like, normal. <laughs> and they were like, okay, see you. I mean, they, they needed like an escort to take me out of there. They didn't just release me into the wild on my own, but... I was like, is this gonna, is this real life? Is this gonna be forever? Not today. Okay, I now realize I can't go center. Because if you don't make it through the center, enough people are cowards that you basically lose. So, I'm waiting.
one. I have been sedated like to unconsciousness once before in my life. And it wasn't even in college. It was it was for the testicular surgery. So I'm familiar with the you know the feeling of waking up from anesthesia. It is weird. I everybody has the same story about waking up from sedation, which is you get the mask put on unless you have a valid medical exemption. And then they say count backwards from 10 or count backwards from 100. And then you get to like 97 and you're like, this shit is never gonna work. And the next thing you know, someone's like shaking your shoulders in a hospital bed hours later, asking you if you want like a tuna sandwich or a ham sandwich. Oh, by the way, we qualified? The time just doesn't exist, which I guess is, I mean, I feel like with sleep, you're like sort of aware that time is passing. Like, I feel like if you woke me up at a random point in my sleep and we're like, how long have you been asleep? I could be within 90 minutes, 50% of the time. It's Frazier's level. That's just from the light level? No, I sleep with the lights on. And the curtains uh, always closed, even during the day. And no clocks. <laughs> I, sleep on the, I sleep on the floor of the Bellagio Casino every night. Bring, ding, 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 bring you our next lucky winners. Fraser? This is not good. This is really bad. But I'm actually, I'm cracked at the rest of this. Hold on, I was thinking about how to make casino sounds with my mouth a second ago. That's the only reason I threw. Whatever, push me, push me, push me. Okay, we recovered like 10 positions there and then lost six of them, but that's okay. I'm pissed. <laughs> that thing shoots you that way? Don't ever let me be the last to know. I'm going. I'm more chesting. A lot of people put their hard-earned points on this one. Let's, let's show some respect. We're not going that one. We're going midline. We're going left line. I should have just... Stood at the exit and blocked them. I'm I'm ass at this section. What's happening? Anybody qualified yet? Just push me. Just push me. Just push me. What the hell? Just push me. What the hell? What the hell? Okay. Nobody's qualified yet? Is this is such a thing even possible? We should have just done low grab jump. A chance was... I don't think this is good, guys. I don't think we're making it. I did not mention anything about Frazier during this whole bit. Get up. Get up, you motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> Two quick ones. Are you guys gonna go see like when you when you go to Toys R Us? Are you gonna buy Fraser scrambled eggs or Fraser toss salad? I think I have to get scrambled eggs, but the problem is you can't fully evolve Niles unless you have a link cable and one of your friends has uh, uh, toss salads, man. So like you know, obviously I'm gonna get the one that has the limited edition uh, grunge raws, but at the same time I'm like, dude, I can't complete my. Uh, Rolodex, which is the perfect because it's the Pokedex is like based on the Rolodex, but then a Rolodex is so normcore that like it would be perfect for Frasier. I can't complete my Rolodex unless I get a uh, fully evolved uh, Divorcee Maris and her incredible psychic attack, Withering Glare. Casino? All right, yeah, start prediction. Casino. What's a Rolodex? It was like an, in the olden days, you would keep your contacts in something called a Rolodex. 
which was like a binder of index cards that would have someone's name on it, like how you met them, their phone number, their job title, etc., etc. That's a damn watch. Not, I mean, I guess it's like a, it's like an Apple Watch. In some ways. Why didn't they call it an iWatch, man? Oh, I never mind. I've answered my own question. How we doing down there? There it is. There it is. Probably just leave on this one. Probably just get out of the game. Maybe jumped a little bit too fast. I'd like to apologize to the 74% of people who naively thought I would make it through that one. My war chest. Dude, you know what? Fall Guys is so fun. I even enjoy seeing the doubters being happy. My problem was that I perfectly timed it to land on the edge, but then due to the positioning of all those people, the body heat affected the viscosity of the air. So I ended up being a little wrong. Well, not wrong. Like my jump calculation was right, but the conditions made it appear wrong. So I bounced off the edge and then landed off of the platform, unfortunately, but. Can you add a name a woman channel points condition like Apollo? Listen, no, but it's not because I can't name a woman. It's because Apollo got it first. And also I had the dream interaction with that when I was in his chat yesterday. Someone redeemed it and said, name a woman. He said, uh, 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 Felicia Day. And I typed the first bat chest in chat. The first bat chest that launched a hundred bat chests. Oh man. It's a feeling of incredible power, especially in Apollo's chat, because in Apollo's chat, um, people usually tell me to like shut up or they just ignore me. So to actually have some influence there feels good. Also, I was asking like he was talking about old emotes and then I was like, what's the one that looks like the guy's drunk out of his mind and he's going like, the what's that one? I haven't it's cropped kind of like badly. Yeah, there it, I, I can't mouse over it to see what it is. That's the one I was trying to get at. People were like, do you mean Craigasm? Oh, I, I know what Craigasm is. It's like my most typed emote to Dan. Say, I'll type something like, yo, when you finish Cuphead, you gotta check out Just King. It's 2022 Snake RX, and people love to watch it. Colon, Craigasm, colon. I don't lose. I don't lose this one. Look at that. We even have time. That's rare. Okay. I need to see this emote again. Can you guys show me the emote? The, show, the one where the guy goes... Bleh. That is called... Brokeback? It's a classic emote. Is the guy named like TTV Brokeback or something? You asked? I did ask, but like... <laughs> that is a lot of really bad emotes, dude. Like, or maybe they're really good. Stone Lightning is incredible. Like they didn't crop it. Is it too late? Like, is it read only or something? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> oh man. Chip gaming's pretty good. I use chip gaming all the time. It's a picture of me. I love using the pictures of me that are not my emotes when I go to other people's chat. Lion Nice is an all timer. I was having a lion nice day that day. It was at PAX. We got some Korean food. I don't want to, uh, you know, just name drop. But 
We did get some Korean food with uh, David Galindo, the developer of Cook Serve Delicious, and also uh, Zach Barth, also known as the uh, eponymous Zach from Zachtronics. By the way, I'd like to apologize to the believers. And now I look to see if people are pogging over my name drop or if they're dropping brokebacks because of my name drop. Please. The hammer of God. The hammer of God! <laughs> Huge. I remember having a, a conversation with uh, with Zach from Zachtronics, and he was he was like confused about why there were sponsored streams for streamers. And he was like, "These companies are paying like a lot of money for something that I don't think works." And I was like, "We're gonna get along really well," because I ask myself that same question every time. I'm like, "This is not worth what you're paying for it in the slightest." You start running back of the number, back of the napkin calculations. You're like, I can't see how this could possibly be profitable for you. <laughs> oh man, thoughts on the Australian television series Neighbors finally concluding? You're gonna laugh. I actually knew that was happening because Sam Yo did an all Australian. Um, music ride that included a song from Neighbors. Maybe you're not gonna laugh, but Macros will laugh because he's Australian and they love to laugh. I don't know if it was the theme song or it was like a song that was like somebody that used to be on the show then recorded as a song or something. Holy cow, that was close, man. Hold on, I'm seeing the code for once. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be here either. I remain unenthused about my position. Saved. Whoo! <laughs> yeah, he did play two Kylie Minogue songs and then one song featuring Kylie Minogue. So I guess there haven't been that many celebrities. That have, be that have come from the show, but hey, I, Guy Pierce, Kylie Minogue, that's two. That's better than most shows do. Oh my god. This, we, we got airdropped into the finals. Dude, you know what they should do for a Fall Guys? This would probably require some serious uh, work. What if after you won a Fall Guys game, they airdropped you into someone else's final? as like the boss. So like you'd land in Hexagon with everybody that survived to the final, but then like one person who just won their game. And they, they were like identifiable. Like right before the game, it like announced them or they had like a, a huge crown on their head or something like that. Whatever, drop me. Yeah, so you could chain dubs real fast. Can you imagine the adrenaline pumping through your veins if you chain like eight Fall Guys dubs in a row? Holy cow. Just win eight consecutive finals. I'd be morbed. There's no, there's no doubt about that. Oh, I would be morbing. Okay, you're doing okay. Thoughts on the Canucks possibly trading JT Miller? I love JT Miller as a player. I don't know as a human being. I don't I don't know him, I must add. Um because I'm friends with a lot of the players, obviously. We go way back to my dreams. Whatever, that was still successful. Um He has to get traded to resolve our salary cap issues, but it's also like I'll believe it when I see it. Like, they've been talking about doing it for a long time. Uh, they didn't get any any deals that they considered acceptable. So they're like, we're content to just hold them until the trade deadline next year. And I'm like, well, I bet this probably was going to happen then. 
or maybe we're in a position to actually make the playoffs so they decide you know what we're not trading like our our best or one of our best like three players because then that's doubter tech and then we lose him for nothing instead we're chilling bro but the wizard is my homie though okay watch this watch this Ooh, where are you going i just wanted to trip you up Hold on. This is possible. You can do the full genome sequence here. I don't want to be here. I wanted to grab him. We don't need the run. You think that screwed him up enough? I'm dead. I'm alive. Oh, I, I thought I had to go to the one that was slightly further away so that I could take the extra ones that I would get off of the new line, but I didn't quite make it. What the hell? What's going on? Okay, oh, okay. So I thought I had the age restricted. That was good, though. That was like... I think we made a, we, we made a gut call at the end. The, cut, the, the call didn't work. It wasn't just like what I normally do, which is like... You know, any final that's not hexagon, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. And then I lost. <laughs> but that was good, dude. That was a good game. I, I, that was thrilling. I got no problems with that one. I love it. 10,000 years, been roaming these halls. Find that cursed wizard. To one slap my balls! I stand, I love Rush. I love Rush so much, I did the same 30 minute Rush ride three days in a row, because it was the first Peloton ride in history that actually had good music on it. However, I stand by my Rush take from like two weeks ago. Where I was like, I think that their high end, the highest end of their catalog is some of the best, is some of my favorite music. Once you get past like their 10 best songs, there's a lot of pure shit. <laughs> it's like... All of Moving Pictures is like really good. But there, then they, there was a period where like, Every song, every album had like one to two really, really good songs. And then there was like a period where you're like, I'm glad they're still out there. But like, it's like, you hear the new Rush song on the radio and you're like, I'm, I'm glad they're still doing their thing. But can you play like Suburbs or, or Subdivisions next? Can you play um, Spirit of the Radio? Can you just play some Tom Sawyer? Can you, can you, just a wafer thin like Red Barchetta? Or something like that, or a, even I'll even take a closer to the heart. I'm so stupid. I'll I'll take a free will. I'll take a fly by night, even though it was before they really, you know, honed their their prog uh, influences. It was more of just this like a straight up rock song. I mean, I'd listen to like Getty Lee read my grocery list. I'd put some fucked up shit on it too, just to, just to hear him say it. Pomegranates! Maybe that's not that fucked up. They are expensive though. <laughs> you know, you think about it? Oh man. Okay, but imagine the sa everybody asking you to say the play, the, to play the same 20 songs for 50 years straight. Well, you know, they shouldn't have made them so damn good. I mean, Alex Lifeson. He probably got sick of playing Spirit of the Radio. That, seemed, that song seems annoying as hell to play on guitar. For like an hour, you're just going... And then at a moment's notice, the, the whole thing fucking turns on a dime and you're going... And like, actually, it's a lot of fun. Hello, Mr. Lifeson. I'm a big fan of your music. 
Oh, by the way, choose prediction. We qualified. And it's Whirly Gig. Please stop with the boomer music. Excuse me, we talked a lot about Drake, but the wizard is my homie though. This is so good. Well, my favorite Rush song is The Camera Eye. Although it's too long to be listenable in all situations. It's a great song. And it's just about like, literally the whole premise of The Camera Eye is that, um, People in New York talk like this. Say, hey, I'm walking here. People in London talk like this. Hello, governor. Not too many bands could get away with that. And it's it's an unbelievable banger. They actually say hello, governor in the song. They do not say they need to find a wizard to unslap their balls, though. Which is still is like, just thinking about it is like the funniest thing uh, I've, I've heard in a long time, for sure. Didn't even have to jump. Ooh. Okay, a little frame hitch there. That's okay. It happens from time to time. See, look, not all the spinners are the same size, dude. This one's a little thick. Ooh. play indie games anymore or just the hip new stuff don't let my shirt trick you into thinking fall guys is new hotness this game is two years old this august people have been posting dead game about it for 24 months consecutively i get it you see the shirt and you're like holy cow this guy's trend chasing no man it's just the most comfortable it's just the only clean shirt i had in my closet today it's just nice okay it's just just this old thing this tommy bahama shirt Purchase from the Disney Wonder onboard apparel uh, emporium. This, these old rags. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't wear this shirt yesterday. Yesterday, I wore a Nike athletic t-shirt because I knew the only person who was going to see me was my colonoscopist. Which is the sequel to The Alienist, which is the sequel to The Mentalist. Do Death Row inmates get to pick a last fit? Dude, someone was saying... I don't remember whose chat... It was probably Apollo's chat. They were saying that you don't even get to pick a last meal on Death Row anymore. Is it because, like, someone's execution got stayed at the last minute too many times in a row and, like, ruined it for everybody? They're like, oh, this is like the... Yay, what the hell, man? They're like, this is like the 15th last meal you've had. We're getting sick of cooking you like 23 lobsters and <laughs> like a 15 liters of Dr. Pepper and a, like homemade cornbread and stuff like that. You've got to just tank the, the, the balls. you just got to unslap the balls. He's a genius. We probably won't qualify. And that's okay. They, they stopped it because too many people were trolling. Well, that's not good. <laughs> One guy ordered a feast and they refused to eat it? That doesn't feel like they're death row inmates. You, you can't just have them get one less troll? Or one last troll, I should say? One, one last prank for old times' sake? Like, they're literally dying. Nah. Dude, I'd be so pissed if I was wrongfully convicted of, like, murder. I was in death row. And for my last meal, I had to eat, like, prison food. It's probably, like, the worst shrimp and like minute rice you've ever had in your life like my university cafeteria where they don't do they they're like hey we got uh it's shrimp jambalaya for dinner and then you go and it's like the little shrimps they're not even like a normal size shrimp they're like all the shrimp are like this big oh we make it on a round one short circuit for sure 
No, not even the popcorn shrimps. I'm just, they're like little cooked shrimp. There's like, you know, there's your jumbos and your prawns and your stuff like that. And then you got like, you know, your tiger shrimp and stuff like that. Then you got like a normal shrimp. And then in the, in the Sodexo cafeterias, they be serving shrimp that are like this big. Yeah, salad shrimp. Thank you. They were, they were putting salad shrimp in a hot entree. It's such an incredible culinary sin. I can't believe they're allowed to operate with impunity. I hate Sodexo. It was a formative experience for me when I found out that the company that um, handles like craft services for the university also handles all the food for the prisons in the province. And honestly, I think you could move from one department to the other and not have to change your workflow or your workflow in the slightest. Oh, we're going midpoint. The perfect Fraser line. What the hell is thick this thick bonkus? I, I wanted the flipper, but whatever, it happens. I'm going. I'm just you gotta believe. As long as you believe. Whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. I'm squeezing. Yeah, I'm into fitting. Fitting this. Fitting this beam through that hole. Huge. That's a huge... You get a lot of... You gather a lot of speed on the third rotation, especially. There you go. Straight on till morning, like the best Blues Traveler album. I'm 22 years old. Can you guess how many colonoscopies I've had? I feel like it's like, if you've had one colonoscopy at 22, you've probably had four colonoscopies in your life. So I feel like it's, it's like feast or famine. Like a lot of people out there having zero colonoscopies and a lot of people, the people that get one colonoscopy are likely to get more. We did qualify from this round. Like, damn, share a bit. Save some colonoscopies for the rest of us. Dude, even, like, the gastroenterologist that I went to, she was, like, trying to make me feel a little guilty. She was like, we fit you in because this was, like, an urgent referral, but otherwise you wouldn't have a colonoscopy until, like, December. Like, we're booking around the holiday season. And I'm like, this can't be true. There can't... I, I just don't believe that there's that many people getting colonoscopies. You would hear about it more often. It's a trend? That's uh, probably, you know what? They're like, dude, colonoscopy before pink sauce, 0 out of 10. Colonoscopy with pink sauce, 10 out of 10. Casino? You're right, I didn't run a casino. There you go. You want to talk about a psycho casino. We do 30 colonoscopies a day in my small hospital. Well, if you're doing so many colonoscopies a day, why is there such a backlog? I think they're just giving them out for sport at this point. That's probably not true. There are a lot of old people. That's definitely true. The healthcare system is very ageist. If you're young, they're like, get to the back of the line. I was telling this story to Kate last night. She didn't believe me, but anyone who's had this experience will be like, that sounds about right. When I was uh, 20... I'm dead. Yep. Probably can't fit one more. When I was uh, 22 or 23, I came back from Korea. And I said, I, I had like lumps on the side of my neck. So I was like, I'm dying. I, I made an appointment for a full body physical with my family doctor. My When I went in for the appointment, this was a, a beautiful time because it was, uh, I was able to get an appointment within like two weeks, okay? So two weeks later, I go in and I say, 
Uh, well, first I say hello, doctor, and she says, hey, just for, today, just for today, I'm gonna have a medical student do the examination. I said, okay, whatever. And then my doctor left the room, and I said, um, hey, I have these lumps in my neck that I'm worried about. She literally went like this. She went, like for a, a, a millisecond, she was like, and then she was like, hmm, it's probably just fat. First off, rude. Secondly, can you approximate your level of confidence, your confidence interval on whether or not it's fat? Because if it's like 99.1, then sure, I trust you. If it was like 55.45, I think I'd like to have some like biopsies taken or something like that. And then I said, okay, well, also, uh, I'm here for a physical. And then she said, typically we don't do physicals on young men unless they present with like symptoms. And I said, okay, doctor, thank you for your time. Fucking see you never. Um, appreciate it. What a, what, a good, what a good use of taking half a day off work and sitting around in like the waiting room and like having you look at my chart and filling out all these forms and questionnaires and stuff like that. Sounds about right.